Hello and welcome back to the Gubba Homestead. I'm Gubba and today I'm going to be teaching and showing you how to use mylar bags in your food storage. If you guys have seen any of my food storage vlogs, then you know that I utilize mylar bags. They are an amazing way to store foods for a long period of time. They go hand in hand with oxygen absorbers and oxygen absorbers do exactly that. They absorb the oxygen from the bag and we know that food storage, the things that cause problems are moisture, oxygen, and light. So we are getting rid of oxygen by using these and there is a little indicator on the oxygen absorber bags that you get most of the time. Pink means it's okay, there's no oxygen in there. If the eye turns purple, it means that there is oxygen and you are not going to want to use what's in here because they have already like absorbed all the oxygen. So if you put one of those that have already been exposed to oxygen in your Mylar bag, they're not gonna absorb anything. The things that you will want for Mylar bag storage, obviously, are Mylar bags. This is for a five gallon bucket. There are different sizes. There's gallons, half gallons, and some other sizes that you can find online. And then there's also different cc's of oxygen absorbers. So these are 2,000 cc's for five gallon buckets. There's 300 cc's, 100 cc's, and they coordinate with different sizes of food storage. The next thing that you will want if you're gonna be doing five gallon food storage with Mylar bags is a five gallon bucket, a clean five gallon bucket. So then you can put your Mylar bag in here. It's safe from anything like mice, bugs, after your food is inside your Mylar bag. A lid to go on top. You can also use gamma lids, which are like screw on lids, really amazing. And then you will need heat to seal your Mylar bag after you have your food in there. And I just use a straightener to go across. There is like a heat clamp that I got with my freeze dryer, but it is too small to use with five gallon bags. But I absolutely love using Mylar bags. The goods that you store in Mylar bags can last up to 30 years. Absolutely would recommend. You can do rice, you can do noodles, you can do a lot of things with Mylar bags in your food storage. Let's get started. Today I'm going to be storing hard white wheat. So there's hard white wheat and soft white wheat that I get in bulk. Hard white wheat is for your breads and I want to use those berries in a situation with my grinder and be able to make bread. Soft white wheat on the other hand is for things like pastries and those lighter flour things like cake. So I prefer to have hard white wheat in my food storage arsenal. Okay, so I'm just gonna open up the bag and get this situated in here into the five gallon bucket. in here. I'm going to pour the wheat berries in here and then I am going to adjust, shake it, try to fit as much in here as I possibly can, throw in an oxygen absorber and then seal the top. This pile back here has become, has been on my to-do list so I'm finally getting around to it bit by bit. I just opened the bag big enough to have a little pouring section and now I'm going to use all of my muscles to pour into here. A great rule of thumb is these 25 pound bags, so this is 25 pounds, fit perfectly into a five gallon food storage bucket. So I have a 50 pound bag back there. I know that's gonna be about two buckets, 25 pounds to one bucket for wheat berries. So now that the wheat berries are at the top, I'm just gonna lightly shake them, see if they will go down a bit, and then we are gonna straighten the top with some heat, and then we, we are literally good. It is that easy. These bags 
bags come with an inside seam to seal across the top. Even though there is that, we still need to put heat across the top. And some Mylar bags come with this resealable like Ziploc baggie system, but not all of them do and it doesn't matter if they do or don't. It's just an ease of access thing because I'm gonna put heat up here and then we can rip it and then we'll be able to reseal it once we open this with the little Ziploc system it has. I almost forgot, which would literally have made no sense, but I need to put in an oxygen absorber, 200 cc, literally just take one, pop it in, and we're good. I will push out as much air as I can get. Put that here for now, and then I'm gonna put my oxygen absorbers in the Ziploc bag right now, just because I don't want them to be exposed to oxygen at all. Now we are gonna turn on our straightener. We're gonna straighten the, across the top, and what the heat does is it seals the Mylar bag, like melds it together, and then it keeps it sealed. And then when you wanna open it again, you can just cut it, rip it, whatever you wanna do. And because we have this little Ziploc line, then we can reseal it. And you can actually keep reusing these bags. So you don't have to, like, you will be able to open it right here, use everything out, put something else back in with an option absorber, and reseal it. It'll just get shorter and shorter each time. I hope that makes sense, but these are reusable, so they are seriously so valuable in your food storage. So my straightener is all warmed up. I'm gonna get the lip out right here, and then I'm just gonna press along the seam and go down. So I just wanna make sure that there are no gaps, that this is sealed. I'll go over it twice. So if you have an old straightener, this is actually just the straightener I use. It doesn't even have to be old. Literally works so perfect. You can also use an ironing board with an iron, but uh, I personally feel like that's a bit more work and I'm all about like easy. And this is definitely easier than getting an ironing board. And one thing to keep in mind is the oxygen absorber Sometimes they will suck your bags in so it looks like they've been vacuum sealed, but other times that they don't. So the air that we breathe isn't 100% oxygen. So this may not completely shrink up because there's other things in there, but it will still absorb the oxygen. So now I'm just gonna put this down in here, put on a lid, and then I will put a label on the lid that says hard white wheat with the date that I put it in here. I like to use duct tape on my labels so then I don't mark on the lid itself and then I can reuse the lid. All right, that is how you use Mylar bags and oxygen absorbers. Absolutely amazing, 10 out of 10 would recommend for your food storage. They're so easy, nothing complicated. Anybody can do them. You just need to get the Mylar bags and oxygen absorbers. I'll put some links down below so you guys can go check those out for yourselves and put them into your tools for your food storage. So you don't wanna just get them when you need them, but have them on hand for when you need them. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for taking your time to come and learn. I hope that you guys learned something from this and I hope that you guys have the most amazing day. Don't do anything you don't wanna do and go build up your food storage. Bye!